Well, well, well. Looks like uh, whatever breaking news service you might follow. Hopefully it's me. And by the way, if you haven't yet, subscribe down below and make sure you click that notification bell so you actually get notified when I upload. Uh, there's several outlets now reporting that uh, the indictment of Donald Trump is now imminent to happen tomorrow. Now, there was some initial reporting about all of this that led to um, speculation that it may have happened next week. To me, it is obvious, it is painfully obvious that the entire thing is set to smear Donald Trump. It's a wild overreach of uh, our justice system being weaponized against a political opponent that they clearly fear, and this will ultimately backfire. Donald Trump is not going to jail for this. It's just not happening. Uh, people act like every time there's a chance that this might happen, they, they forget that Stormy Daniels, Daniels sued him, I believe, twice and lost both times and had to pay Donald Trump. Um, this is the weirdest, uh, weirdest overreach that I've seen our judicial system have here, and it's clearly because they're afraid. This on top of the idea that, you know, we have Ron DeSantis, you know, many people do like Ron DeSantis, but him having some pretty big missteps, I think, in his handling of all this. This is from Alex on Twitter. Donald Trump is expected to be indicted tomorrow. Secret Service to make plans for his surrender and appearance in New York court next week. This via the Daily Mail. Trump will not be arraigned this week. Former president is expected to be indicted tomorrow and Secret Service will make plans for his surrender and appearance in New York court next week. A source familiar with the proceedings exclusively told Daily Mail on Tuesday, what was it, the uh, attorney general? All 36,000 NYPD officers are in uniform and on notice for the deployment after Trump called for his supporters to protest his imminent indictment. Well, I mean, the showing has been weak but I would say that it's because there are many wary. There are many that feel like he abandoned um, the his base that has been locked up for an inordinate sentences from J6. There are people that are worried about potential glowies, uh, bad actors trying to uh, kind of make things escalate things. There's a, there's a lot of reasons why all this is happening. So there will be no arraignment this week. A source familiar with the proceedings told Daily Mail, the former president who is currently in Florida is expected to be formally charged tomorrow after the Manhattan District Attorney's Office will reach out to Trump and his Secret Service detail to make arrangements for his surrender. Now, again, he's not going to prison for this. Anybody who thinks that is delusional. Meanwhile, it's all hands on deck in New York Police Department and Metro Police Department, as all officers on Tuesday are expected to be in uniform, ready for anything in the wake of the potential indictment. Officials in New York City and Washington, D.C. are preparing for possible unrest and demonstrations following the former president's plea for his supporters to protest, protest, protest in response to potential indictment handed down by Manhattan District Attorney Alvin Bragg over hush money payments made to Stormy Daniels. Trump 76 said last week he is expected to be arrested on Tuesday, but law enforcement told Daily Mail that an indictment would likely happen on Wednesday at the earliest. NYPD internal memo obtained by CNN shows that all officers are to be in uniform and prepare for deployment Tuesday. Meanwhile, Daniels is also beefing up her security after her attorney said that she received concerning messages. Law enforcement officials tell CNN that there are currently no credible threats in New York City, even though Tuesday is a high alert day. Washington Metro Police are also preparing for protests, but the U.S. Capitol Police isn't currently tracking any direct or credible threats uh, from Trump's protesters. I imagine they're going to stay home. You know, NYPD is the largest police department in the country with 36,000 current officers and 19,000 civilian employees. This week's memo suggests that all 36,000 officers are expected to be in uniform and on standby for deployment today. Many lawmakers and politicians, both sides of the aisle, have said no one wants a repeat of J6, with Republicans claiming that they don't expect the demonstrators to turn bad, but warn instead of a political circus surrounding any potential indictment. On Monday afternoon, the NYPD met with Secret Service and Chief of Public Safety for state court officers with decision to ramp up security around the courthouse starting Tuesday morning, a law enforcement official told DailyMail.com. However, the source said 
The indictment isn't expected until at least on Wednesday at the earliest, and that Trump likely wouldn't even come to New York this week. They had their meeting and discussed a whole bunch of stuff about putting extra lighting out there. Now they're going to put more barriers out there and send their special response teams in. The NYPD is going to do what they can when the United Nations comes to town, which stepped up security, they added, but they don't think it's going to happen this week. I like how they just, it's, he's such a terrible criminal that he needs, they need, a, they just get to plan uh, for whatever they want. The indictment may happen, but they don't think Trump comes this week. I'm told there's additional witness who's going to testify on Wednesday. So if there's an indictment, it's not going to happen until Wednesday or Thursday. So they think he probably comes next week. I mean, is, is Trump, of course, declared he is a victim of stormy horse face Daniels extortion saying he's being targeted by a series of horrible, radical left Democrat investigations. Daniels also feeling the effects of Trump's possible looming arrest, as her attorney, Clark Brewster, told TMZ that her client has received vitriolic messages on social media. Oh, no. Not that. But here is ultimately what the fallout is, and this is exactly what I suspected it would be, is that, you know, Trump v. DeSantis is a no-win situation for Republicans. Um, unless they can join forces together or, or, you know, pass the torch or whatever the case may be, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis uh, has now dropped to the lowest support in GOP polls as clashes with Trump turn nasty. The Morning Consult survey found that 54% of potential GOP primary voters support former President Donald Trump, who announces, can, announces candidacy in November. Slightly less than half of them support Mr. DeSantis, who has yet to announce his candidacy, candidacy at 26%, his lowest level, the morning consult began tracking his numbers back to December 2022. DeSantis has faced criticism for both establishment Republicans and Mr. Trump in recent weeks. Last week, DeSantis sparked outrage among some in the party when he responded to a questionnaire from Fox News host Tucker Carlson by calling the battle between Russia and Ukraine a territorial dispute. Mr. DeSantis said that it was not in our national interest of the United States to support Ukraine. Well, I don't know if I disagree with that. 49% of all voters uh, say that supporting Ukraine against Russia's attack on the country is of vital interest to the United States. Only 37% of potential Republican voters said the same. By comparison, similarly, also, I'll just go down. Conversely, the former president has also turned his gaze towards the governor of his state. During a speech in Davenport, Iowa, Mr. Trump tested out his nicknames for DeSantis such as Ron de Sanctimonious. I mean, I don't really understand or care. That's not a great nickname. Um, but then he goes on, look, I don't know what goes into paying hush money to a prawn star to secure science for some sort of alleged affair. I can't speak to that, he said. What I can speak to is if you have a prosecutor who is ignoring crimes happening every single day in his jurisdiction, and he chooses to go back many, many years to try and do something about some sort of hush money payments, that's an example of pursuing a political agenda. But since then, Mr. Trump and his supporters have repeatedly criticized the governor and one-time protege of Mr. Trump with Mr. Trump lobbying for lobbying a crude, crude phobic insult towards him. Yeah, I mean, I definitely, you know, I definitely can't say that I'm, I'm really happy with the way uh, that DeSantis has reacted here. I don't know. I, I suppose I'll read the comments down below. I would have liked to see a little more, um, a little more working together. But that said, you know, Trump has been busting his chops pretty nonstop. Um, so it, it's 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 going to be interesting if the indictment really does come down tomorrow. This is just more political theater. You see, this Senator Lindsey Graham says that the Trump arrest would uh, destroy our country. Senator Lindsey Graham, the ranking member of Senate Judiciary Community is warning that the Manhattan District Attorney, Alvin Bragg, who's just trying to get famous, by the way, arresting President Trump would be terrible. It's going to <laughs> turn our country into chaos. It's a bunch of BS, he said on Fox & Friends interview. You've got a prosecutor before Bragg, Vance, uh, take look at the case and pass on it. You're the U.S. Attorney in New York. Say, I'm not going to do it federally, Graham said, describing the lack of interest among other prosecutors in charging Trump over a $130,000 payment. His one-time fixer, Michael Cohen, made to Stormy Daniels. Graham said that Bragg is under political pressure to prosecute Trump over the claim, which resurfaced back in 2018 because his predecessor had come under criticism from former prosecutor who oversaw it. I mean, nobody actually wants to push this forward. 
This is all just a distraction. You know, this is this is the look at over here. You, you know, nobody's talking about how bad Donald or uh, Joe Biden is leading us right now. They're talking about how insane this is. They're talking about Trump. They're talking about this indictment. I mean, it, it's it's like uh, I mean, a lot of people, you know, congratulations on your next term, Mr. President. Breaking this is an election interference. Uh, 322, obviously, because it's all a charade. Um, you know, I, I would argue that. You know, he's not going to jail for this. Um, they don't even keep criminals who end other people's lives in jail there. Okay. Um, so all this is going to do is galvanize his base and remind everyone just who the real enemy is. And uh, I'm not sure that that's what they were hoping for. I hope you were informed and enjoyed this video. If you were, please do leave a like on it and subscribe down below. We'll talk to you again real soon.